Hey everyone, so I have a CD with you today and this is John Barrowman, Another Side. Now this was $1.99 in that's entertainment. $1.99 for a John Barrowman CD is insanely perfect. So as always, let's look at the cover first of all. I'm sure you'll agree that that is nothing less than perfect. He looks absolutely gorgeous on that one. And then we'll take you through the booklet because I'm quite fucking, I like my booklets to be quite interesting. So we have the track list at the beginning and then we have a picture of John. And then we have a little word from John. And then we have a picture of John. And then we have a picture of John. And then we have the book credits. So it's not a massively packed book. There's no lyrics. There's no in-depth descriptions about the songs. But there are pictures of John. So, you know, it makes up for everything. The CD itself is kind of, you know, it's just a... It looks black in the camera, but it's actually brown. You know, the cover is brownish. Um, so the CD itself is brown in colour, which is not very exciting, but it's alright. So as usual, I'll take you through the tracks and, you know, what I think of them. There are 13 tracks in total, 13 being my lucky number. I was kind of like, this could be my favourite. And it is one of my favourites. So the first one is All Out of Love. Wow, that, that version is so beautiful. One of the best I've heard ever. I listen to it a lot. I really like it. Number two is You're So Vain, which I hadn't heard before. But I do like it now. It's not my favourite Barman song. I do tend to favour... Either the ones that I've heard of before, or the ones that are on the first album. It's just how it works. Number three is She's Always a Woman. I hadn't heard of that song prior to the advert that it's in. I can't remember the advert that it's in, but it's the advert where she's a baby, and then a toddler, then a school child, then a teenager, then a, an adult, then a middle age, then... Oh, luckily it doesn't go as morbid as going to her coffin or anything, but it's the, the advert where she's progressing through. And I loved that song in that advert, and I never really thought of getting hold of it. Barman's version is just perfect. I love it. I really do. Um, number four is Time After Time, which I wasn't overly familiar with, but it's good. The same applies for number five, which is Weekend in New England. It's not my favourite song. I do like it. I do listen to it. I don't skip past it or anything. It's just not one I'm overly fond of. Number six I hadn't heard of, which is Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic, but I love it. I really, really do love that one so, so much. Um... Yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant. I really do like it. Number seven, If You Leave Me Now. Oh, that song is one of the most perfect songs ever. I don't like the Clubland remixes or anything, but generally that song is just sensational. I really do like it. So that's probably my favourite on the whole album, or one of my favourites on the whole album. Number eight is Your Song. Oh my goodness. I wasn't a fan of that song prior to John singing it, but now that I've heard his version, it's kind of like, oh my god, one of the best songs ever. I really love it. Um, number nine is Please Remember Me. Again, it's not one that I've heard of much, but I do like it. It is kind of good. Forgive me, I'm trying to find my phone. There it is. So it's not my all-time favourite, but it's okay. Number ten is Heaven. Um, I first heard that, I believe, when Andy Wyman sung it on um, Soap Star Superstar. And I loved it then, I really loved it, and now I have Barman's version, and it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I don't want to say it's better than Andy Wyman's, because I adore Andy Wyman, but it's better. Um, oh, it's just gorgeous, his voice is perfect. Number 11 is Being Alive, which again, I hadn't heard, but, you know, I, I got used to it, it's alright, it's growing on me. I wasn't a massive fan to start off with, but it's, it's okay. Number 12, the same applies, which is feeling good. It's, it's good, it's good, yeah. Appropriately it is good. But again, it's not one which I think would ever be crowned my favourite. And the last one, number 13, is All By Myself. A song that I absolutely love. A song a song that I fell in love with when it was played on Friends, actually. Um, John's version is the most breathtaking version ever. In fact, all of John's covers are the best versions of those songs I'd ever heard. Apart from um, one of them which is sung by him, Mary Byrne and Jay McDonald, so I'm not allowed to choose that one. Now I'm going to do something here, I'm going to take a risk, because a lot of you will leave me comments in my CD reviews saying, Amy, you know, why don't you play clips? And I don't think I'm allowed for copyright. The copyright with YouTube is very complicated, because some people say you can play songs, some people say you can't. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to play a bit of a song for you, a bit of John's song, so I'm going to find it, so bear with me while I'm mumbling along to you. And if for some reason this video is removed by YouTube, well, YouTube, please don't remove it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for the benefit of the CD. I'm trying to get more people to buy the CD, so it's beneficial. Um, right, bear with me. 
Right, so John Barman, I have, you know, I've got crumbs. You know, I've got all his albums there. Well, all of them I own. I, the ones I need now are only like the really expensive ones. Which one's this? Another side. My memory's appalling. Um, I'll play um, All Out of Love. So hopefully you'll be able to hear this. I'll just play a bit of it. Hang on, I'll just... Right, so I'll stop you there so I'm not just sitting for the entire video looking like a plum holding my iPhone. But it is. I'm sure you will agree that that is absolutely breathtaking. Had you not heard of Barman before, or you hadn't heard him singing, you know, perhaps you're just a fan of Torchwood or you've seen him, well, no, if you've seen him in the West End, you would have known him. he sang. But if you're just a fan of Torchwood or something, then, you know, you might not have heard him sing. But it is, it's sensational. Definitely worth buying. As I said, I got for one ninety nine in That's Entertainment. You can get it on Amazon for just a little bit more... HMV have it for about five hours. It is really, really good and definitely worth buying. Please feel free to leave comments on this or anything else. And that is it for just now. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.